friends, um, I don't remember who, but somebody asked me on YouTube to show a video of how I layer my piggy's bedding. Sorry, I'm distracted by poops on the carpet. Anyway, uh, and I have already started. I did a video and then I accidentally hit the stop button and set a pause, so I don't know. In any event, um, basically in my 3x5 plus a 2x2 kitchen, I lay down a total of four towels. Um, so you can see one towel, one standard towel is almost exactly two grid widths. Um, and then it's about three. So one towel would probably be perfect for a two by three um, sized CNC cage. So um, I put two down, they overlap there in the middle and that actually works really well. I usually have a couple sleep spots there. And so it just, I feel like it just kind of gives them a little extra padding, not much, but you know, I, that's what I tell myself. Um, so yeah, so those go, uh, I've got the two line lengthways here and then another one up here, and it's gonna go over the little lip that goes into their kitchen. Um, but they're in there right now, a little crowded and trying to figure out what I'm doing because I'm taking a lot longer trying to video things. So anyway, so yeah, I've got three towels on a three by five. Um, so if you're doing a three by five, you need three towels. If you were doing a two by five, I still think you would need two towel or three towels just because, um, what did I say, a two by five? No, for a two by five, you'd only need two towels because that would work. Um, and again, these are just standard towels. Um, the cheap ones from Walmart, they're not very thick. Um, they're around $2.50 uh, $2 a piece. So um, I end up using a total of four um, in my three by five plus two by two kitchen. Um, so that works out to be just a little over $10 for the towels. And then I need three blankets, which I'm going to show you here in just a second. They're just the, they're cheap, um, $2.50 fleece blankets from Walmart. And I use three of those. So I can do, I can get a whole new round of bedding for my piggies, um, for less than $20, which is nice. Um, we want, I would love to do something like the um, Guinea Dad liners, but it just is not something we can fork out all at once. So we are making do with this for now, and um, I don't expect this to last, this particular like set to last for very long. Um, and so we'll just go to Walmart and spend another $20 and be set. Um, I actually like that idea anyway, because I like the idea of being able to do more themed um, uh, bedding, like once we get to the fall and Christmas, depending on whatever blankets they've got out. So anyway, I'm going to hit pause and I'm going to lay down the first blanket so I can show you how big it is. Okay. I think I just hit play again. So, um, this actually, I like to go around and just kind of tuck under, I don't know if you can see, I like to tuck the edge of the blanket underneath the towel. Um, just to make it easier for me when the poop gets stuck on the blank on the towel, it's a real pain. Um, it's not, it, it comes off really easily, but when you've got a hundred little poopies to get off, it's a pain. So, especially on this side where they sleep and like to try to get it up, get the edges up. Um, I tuck these in. These are harder corners for me to spot clean. So once I have those in, I, um, I'll go ahead and show you since I've got the camera here. I like to put their housing uh, against the corners. I'll show you in a second. Because it, um, it keeps them from getting into the actual corners. I don't know if that makes me a mean guinea pig owner or not, but um, I'll show you. So I've got it kind of angled back there. They actually do not go back in this corner at all. And that just makes it easier for me to clean. Um, so I've got that and I'm going to hit pause again and then I'll show you, well, I can keep talking, I suppose, but okay. So you saw how much I tucked in. It was only probably a half inch or so. And this is one blanket. Oh, hi there. Welcome back. 
Um, and it goes, let's see, what does that make it? This would be, this is almost a square. It's a little more than a square. Um, but it's not, it wouldn't be enough for a two by four, or three by four, or anything like that. As you can see, that's one, two, three, four. So um, if you have, let's see, what would this make it then? A two by three, then you can get away with one towel and one blanket, and you're looking at $5 per set of bedding. Um, this is not ideal. It's not really thick enough, but frankly, it's something that works and is cleaner, and my piggies have um, less sneezing and issues like they have with the disposable bedding and it's affordable um, for us so yeah um, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys to come back over here so I can clean up the kitchen so these logs come with just one hole in them but we cut a second one um, we have all bores if you're not already familiar with us and um, this is part of why we have so much space where are you Oh, you're in there. Okay. Oh, all right. This is part of why we have such a big cage, um, so that they have space. But the pigloos, um, we've never tried one, and I'm a little bit afraid to, um, because I don't think that they're big enough. Come on. Come on. This way, guys. All right. What if I just step out for a second? I'm trying not to make them angry all over again. They went outside today and they love eating grass, but they hate being handled to get there. So they're going to go check out their new bedding and I'll keep filming for a second to see if we get any popcorns out of them. They are usually really happy about um, a clean space and they'll probably start pooping on it before I even get to finish cleaning. So let me give you guys this back too. This one I just like to kind of stick in there, just an extra hidey spot. Nobody's going to pay me with popcorns, huh? All right, I'm going to hit pause, and we'll show you what it looks like when I've finished. Okay, actually, I changed my mind. This way you guys can watch them while I work. All right. Oh, it's already pooping. Not every, I know there's a lot of people out there that don't bother with gloves, but it's one of those things that's just, you know what, these are animal feces. Even if they are um, easy to pick up and all that, it's still gross. It's still poop. I don't handle my kids' poop with my hands. Oh, you guys drive me nuts. <laughs> um, so I don't handle theirs either. See if they end up doing anything cute. So this side is where I get kind of paranoid about how this isn't really working because they pee so much over here in their kitchen area that it ends up getting stuck stuck to the bottom of the cage, which just doesn't seem like a good thing to me. I don't know if you can see or not how much is just soaked. I don't know if that'll show, but um, I suppose the advantage is that's only in that side. There's never that much pee anywhere else. <laughs> Oh, 
this one is their kitchen blanket and it is always the messiest because of the hay and obviously this is where they pee and poop the most. Well, actually, I don't know. They poop everywhere the most, so that's not true. Um, but it gets pretty gross. So I don't know if you guys have any ideas on how to make this better. Feel free to drop me a comment. reality is, is, like I said, we are a homeschooling family, which also means we are single income, which is fine. Um, but it does make things a little bit more snug. You know, we started out with guinea pigs because we thought this would be a great cheap first pet. <laughs> and if you're a guinea pig enthusiast, and if you're watching this video, I'm sure you are, then you know that cheap is not true. We do also have, again, because we're funny about hygiene, um, we have a specific dustpan and brush for their cage. We do not use this anywhere else in my house. That's just who we are. And honestly, it actually ends up being really convenient anyway, because it's always by the cage. So it's always where I need it when I need it. I'll never have to go look for it. I suppose I should have shown you what this looks like. I can pause. Oof. All right. So that's their kitchen. I just bait, I literally just picked everything up and dumped it out. And then I just sweep it all up. I'm uh, not a thermographer. This is not working out for me either. <laughs> see if it'll just stand there. There we go. I don't even know if you guys can see anything. Maybe you just see my child's beautiful artwork on the walls. You guys have heard of those paint and uh, wine and paint things that grown-ups do. Our homeschooling group has a similar sort of thing for the kids, minus the wine, you know, being that they're children. But we have a teacher come in and teach them how to paint something. We've done it two summers in a row. Part of me feels like I'm not even going to upload this to YouTube, but I'm going to. I went through the hassle of filming it. I have no idea how to edit things, so it will not be edited. So if you guys want to find the fancy edited videos, you're going to have to go find something else. <laughs> okay, and then I just make sure there's nothing big hanging out in the brush. And this one I wiped down a little bit more diligently. I'll show you the stains here in a second. Um, again, because this one was part of the old cage. And so there's some staining from where paper or um, shavings were a little wet, a little too long. And I did not realize it. But hey, out of your dad's office, please. 
Told you I was a homeschool mom, right? <laughs> Yes, sir. Nope. Not right now. If you want to go play outside, you can. Alright, so that was just one wipe. So go play outside. So you can see there's some staining back here. Um, I scrub at it every time I'm in here, but it doesn't like to go anywhere. So Leave the room, please. Do not sit here and whine at me. I love you. Go. Who knew I was going to get to have real life on my guinea pig video, too? Yeah. Scrub, 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 and nothing, nothing, nothing. <laughs> okay, so now um, I go ahead and I'll pull this a little tighter to go over that lip. Um, so that that is a soft place for them to go over. I will grab the last towel and the other two Oh wait, maybe I don't have a towel for this one. Okay, maybe this is part of what I have to work on. Because, um, I have this liner. I'm standing right in front of the camera. So I have this liner, and it's basically just fleece on both sides and a towel. But now I have this gap, so that's a big problem, and I don't think I remember that being quite that bad. So I am going to pull it from that corner because this is a more crucial area than the other corner. I like it uh, to be layered. I'm going to have it more on this side because that's where their hay goes over here anyway. Hmm. And then, so you can see I've got the liner there. Um, I don't know if it'll show on the camera, but I think you can see the other blanket. <clears throat> so again, I just like to line those up. Making that as soft as I can. Okay, so like I said, I don't think I was paying as much attention. I don't remember that I did not have full coverage. My towel stops here. So I've got a good like seven or eight inches not with no towel, no absorbent layer, which is not good. But here are their balls. They enjoy those. We've caught them with them a lot, especially lately. So I'll do that for now. Um, I don't know how to clean this thing, so that just gets spot cleaned every time and it's probably going to get thrown away before too long. I don't know what to do with it. So, okay, so that is all of their bedding. And um, so, yeah, we've got a couple tunnels, a couple houses, soft place. They don't, they go in there and make a mess mostly. <laughs> this is about the point that I pull my hair. I'll let you guys watch them more. They're cute. Last things I do, I've got to go clean out their bowl. I'm not going to get that on camera. You guys probably can figure out how to do that. Um, this is their hay bin. It is literally just one of those like two or three dollar bins and I cut. It's pretty rough, but um, I've just kept an eye on them and it seems to work well. Um, I clean it out and then I put down fresh um, newspaper, basically. which they have been eating lately, so I keep trying to fold it better because I think that Garfield has an issue. But so then I've got that, and then I put all of their hay um, in it. 
box. I've got this giant 50 pound box of hay in my living room right now. I'm trying to figure out what else to do with it. Because it's just a mess. Oh, it's such a mess. And I am not like a super tidy housewife by any stretch. But, oh man, does this mess drive me nuts. All right, so then they've got a full hay bin, which we stick in here. Whoa, what are you doing? Right up against that edge. And then my piggies have hay, and it makes them happy. I'm actually going to dump the rest of this one in there, too. Ooh, that's dusty hay. I shouldn't have done that. And now it's on camera. But chances are you haven't made it to this 21-minute mark, so we're good. Okay. I'm done now. Hope that was helpful or funny or something, I guess. Goodbye from the Three Muska Piggies.